Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City Skylines Snowfall today. We're having traffic problems. I don't think that really surprises anyone, but uh, yeah, traffic is now having uh, a bit of an issue when it comes to getting into the city because, uh, well, there's a lot of it and quite a bit of it wants to go to the right there, which is very interesting indeed. Is there any particular reason they're wanting to go to the right? I guess, uh... No, I don't know. I, well, actually, I guess a lot of industrial traffic will probably want to go to the right these days, so... Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's what's going on there. I do realize, I think I could do... Oh, and I realize this is actually a, a cross-junction. I've had this this whole time and not noticed, haven't I? Oh, all right, well, that's, uh, that's, that's... Uh, it's gonna have to stay, isn't it? It's gonna have to bloody stay. That one can go away, though. Because what I want to do is go ahead and upgrade this road here. And uh, then come out another, say, three blocks. I want to bring this one down, I think. Uh, so go to there, take that to there. And uh, we could actually... We, we could totally uh, take the... The trams about all of that as well, if we really wanted to. And I, I kind of really want to. I haven't really done a new tram line in a couple of episodes. So, if I just go ahead and do this kind of thing, we now have a tram loop there. Which could be kind of useful indeed. We could sort of have one up there as well. I don't really think we need a tram line up there. Although, it might deal with some of the, the traffic we have going about. So, maybe we will. Yeah, let's, let's give that a shot. Let's, uh, let's have a tram line that goes to there. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different with this tram line. We will, uh, we'll have it go into here. Uh, we'll have it go... Yeah, the whole way along here, like this. And then... Uh, this is a little bit tricky. It needs to go this way, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then can I do a one-way tram line that has the two lanes? I... Sort of can. Is that going the right way, though? No, it is. So that... I... I don't think that's really what I want. I want the tram line to be in the... Okay, this this might be a bit weird to, uh... to get working. Um, hmm. We'll give that a shot and we'll see how that goes. That That may work, it may not. I'll bring the tram line across there, and then take the tram line down through there. So that should... That should work, if I'm not mistaken. What we want is, uh, the tram's gonna have to go on that side. I guess that is technically the left, so... Uh, we'll have the tram have a stop there, and a stop, uh, I guess, there. We'll have a stop that is there, and there as well. And that's actually I really shouldn't have done that immediately, should I? Because this tram doesn't actually this this line doesn't have any connections yet. Uh, what we need to do with this is actually go into the tram thing itself because you can actually make little like individual tram lines. Like that is just a tram line right there. That isn't a road, which is great because it means I don't have to change my my avenue up here. So that is uh, that is absolutely perfect. It means I can also downgrade this to a regular, uh, stretch of road. So that is absolutely perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and recreate what we were doing there. So that's gonna go around. It's gonna go to there. It's gonna go to there. And it's gonna go to there. Then it's gonna come down this way just a little bit. And what way do we want to go? I reckon, uh, I, I reckon just straight down here would be a great idea. Uh, we'll go down to there. We'll stop there. We'll have a stop there. We'll have a stop, uh... There. There. We'll have one opposite that stop. We'll have one opposite that stop. And it's gonna have to sort of cross over itself, but then it goes to there. So, it does a nice big loop of that space, which should be absolutely great. Uh, that is actually an industrial tram line, which we haven't had in a little while, so of course it's gonna go to the sort of orangey-yellow color, uh, that is... Industry. Actually, indu industry is, uh, industry. Why did I say it so weirdly? Yeah, that orange-yellow color is fine. That'll, that'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's see the trams coming out then. There they are. Is that the, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, sort of 
the the kind of yellowy uh, yellow snow kind of color there. Oh, we got the water treatment plant and uh, the crematorium. We got thirteen thousand people. My God, that's uh, it's like yesterday that we had uh, we had no one here. That's a joke. That that's a joke because it was yesterday. Whatever. Um, <laughs> that's uh, we actually got a decent bit of money for that as well. Let's actually throw the water treatment plants in, uh, I don't know, actually. I, I guess we'll just get rid of these and throw a water treatment plant there because uh, it does it does obviously pollute a lot less. So uh, that's probably a good thing to have. These can deal with 120,000. These can deal with 160,000. So one of these might not actually be enough. We'll have to find out. One of these may not be enough to deal with all of the... Uh, the crap that we throw out of our city. We'll have to find out. We can, of course, get a new uh, tile, though, which I kind of want, to be honest. I, I do kind of want another tile. I'm tempted to go for one of these ones. But uh, I feel like sort of expanding the main city is a good idea. And actually, in all honesty, I want these ones because I'm not really interested in, like, having this little space because I'm not going to use it just yet. Having this one's useful, though, because it means I can actually build on that coast, no problem. So what I'll do is we'll put the uh we'll, we'll put this building just here. And yeah, we'll put another one beside it. We'll we'll put another one beside it because that kind of makes sense. All right. So I realize I should probably save up a bunch of money so I can put in the water pipe with heating because I don't know. I I I feel like it's it's necessary. I, I feel like it's it's necessary because we we really don't want to um, have to go about later and upgrade all these. So I think upgrading all of my my pipes. This is super expensive, by the way. Um, but this is something we haven't actually got to yet. So uh, doing this is probably worthwhile. It's super expensive. My God, we really need a lot of money to do this. But uh, eventually, like as you can see, these guys are now complaining about not having enough heat. That's what it, that's what it does. We're providing heat to the people, which is, uh, which, which is a thing. They're all going to get really annoyed if I don't provide heat soon, though. Uh, boiler station 60,000 uses oil to produce heat, or 55,000 for the geothermal plant. Uh, doesn't actually output as much, though, does it? Nah. Which is worrying, because we're actually going to need, like, either two of those, or, well, two of those as well, either or, really. So 60,000 versus 55,000 is what we're looking at here. Can I take out this loan? No, why can't I? 16,000 people is what I need. Okay, well, I'll take out another 20,000 loan and pay back that one and take a 60,000 loan. So that's how that works. That's how loans work, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, I guess what I'll do is we will go ahead and get the boiler station since it's so much more efficient uh, so we'll chuck it in just there and uh, make the connection now the question is uh, do I need to connect this directly to other heating pipes or is that gonna work I doubt it because it doesn't actually have a connection from heating to heating so uh, realistically speaking we're we're absolutely gonna want to uh, yeah those guys are the only ones getting heating, so let's see what we can do about upgrading a, uh, <laughs> enough pipes to make a sort of pathway to the uh, heated area. This seems to me like probably the quickest way to go. Yeah, just straight down there. That's kind of silly. But uh, it, it kind of makes sense, really. This is, this is the only way we can really uh, quickly make this connection. We're also getting a bunch of money right now, which is kind of great. So I'm, I'm very much okay with that. Let's uh, upgrade you and you and you, and there we go. Beautiful. Those guys are all getting heat, which is perfect. They uh, they they should stop complaining, if I'm not mistaken. You guys want to... Oh, no, we didn't fix... Okay. Well, there we go. No, they should stop complaining. Beautiful. That's... Uh, that's that's beautiful. Oh, they're not all getting heat, though, because the these guys need... Uh, they need a connection like that. They need a connection like that. I realize I don't need to upgrade all of these pipes, just most of them, uh, which I guess I am absolutely getting enough money to do. So let's see what we can uh, we can do by upgrading these pipes. This is just 
I, I forgot that this would be a thing at all. Also, why are we having so many garbage problems? What the hell's up with that? That's probably because I'm emptying these buildings, isn't it? 38% full. Let's turn these off for a while. I'll just leave them sort of switched off. Um, it's also empty still. I mean, it's... Let's stop emptying them at least and just have them switched off because we really need to get garbage trucks out to the people because apparently the garbage trucks are actually focusing on uh, emptying the landfills rather than the, uh, collecting from the people. So that's probably something we want them to not do. Uh, let's go ahead and just upgrade all of these pipes along here. We are getting so much money though. That's kind of excellent. That's, uh, that's kind of exactly what you want to say. So let's upgrade all of you, and uh, upgrade all of you as well. This should keep people happy though. Providing heating to the people would, uh, I mean it would keep me happy if uh, I'd been living in a snowy place uh, without heating for a long time and then suddenly I've got heating. I would, uh, I'd be bloody overjoyed at that. So this should, uh, this should totally work. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and do that, let's do that. Oh yeah, this is going so much quicker than I thought it would. So something kind of serious is happening in my city right now. It turns out that for some reason, uh, garbage isn't being collected. We're also having a death wave. And there's also a bunch of sick people uh, because garbage isn't getting collected. The ground is polluted. I assume that's because garbage isn't getting collected, isn't it? That would be, uh, that, that would be why. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. The ground is uh ground's bloody heavily polluted down there. Yeah, garbage collection is not happening. Everyone's getting sick for some reason. So why is garbage collection not happening? That's the question. I mean, all of my the tr there's not that many garbage trucks in use right now. Which is very strange. Why are there not all that many garbage trucks in use? Because they they bloody should be. That's not worrying at all. That's, that's, that's not one bit worrying. Okay. So everyone's getting sick because the garbage trucks aren't going out to collect the garbage. Beautiful. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's just what I want. Uh, let's go ahead and put another incineration. Oh, I need 30,000 for an incineration plant. Okay, well, the hell with that then. Uh, let's just continue upgrading all of my pipes because we're getting there with the pipes. Still doing the pipes, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, still not done. It's, uh, <laughs> kind of expensive, is, uh, is the, uh, the old pipe situation. It's, uh, just a little bit expensive, but, uh, no, yeah, it shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, we got that going for us. Not gonna be, uh, not gonna be at this for much longer. Just got that area to do, which isn't even all that important. I mean, there's most of that area doesn't have anything in it. I just want to, uh, just want to get it done for the sake of it, really. I'd also really like to, uh, get the garbage problem sorted and all of these bloody roads. It really seems that anything that comes out of a bloody landfill is freaking useless. I say landfill, I mean dump kind of thing as well. That's, I mean, all of our snow plies are in use, but if it doesn't bloody look like it, does it? Remember when we hit 16,000 uh, uh, users? Uh, citizens, this episode. Yeah, well, we're on 11,193, well, 240 now. Uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, may have died as uh, the results of uh, ground pollution because garbage wasn't being collected. It is uh, sort of being collected now and people are moving back in, but yeah, there was there was a time there where I wasn't sure the city was necessarily going to recover. And uh, fortunately, it sort of is. What I think I'm going to do, though, is just chuck a uh, an incineration plant up there because that's right by a fairly major uh, road into the city. So that's probably useful to have. Uh, getting another one or two of those around that corner would probably be a great idea. I'm aware that, uh, that is technically sort of a commercial space, which now makes me think that I really don't want that there. Damn it. I guess we'll chuck it sort of, we can chuck it on the main road, I guess. I guess that works. Uh, so we'll do it just, say, there instead. Because it's still on that main road. That can still go either way, no problem. 
uh, but it's not right beside the other ones. And I'm actually going to move these about just a little bit so that they're not all bunched together because that's possibly not helping uh, with the whole situation with the garbage trucks. Having them in different places will probably possibly help. I don't know. What I would like to do, though, is actually... How much are these? 5,000 for a snow dump. I want to make a dedicated area for uh, for some snow dumps. And I actually think that could be in here. In uh, in all honesty. I, th I think having a bunch of snow plows in here, or uh, the, the base for a bunch of snow plows in here, could be a uh, pretty good idea. Now, that looks to be fairly evenly spread out. Uh, so if I do that as just a big sort of... I was going to say a one-way road, but honestly, a two-way road might be the way to go. Uh, in fact, I'm thinking this avenue might be the way to go, and you'll see why I'm thinking avenue in just a second. If I go four blocks that way, can I get snow dumps on either side? I... I cannot, because it's going to, uh... It's going to overlap those other, bu other buildings, which is not what I want. So that slightly complicates things. The reason I want to use that avenue, though, is because if I have a snow dump on this side, it can actually cross over the avenue, which is good, because it means it would have to go to the end of the road to, uh... To do that kind of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and just connect you to... There, and then there. Just like that. In fact, getting rid of that path is probably just... No, nah, we'll keep it. Whatever. Uh, let's see then for snow dumps. I do want to put them in here. That's the thing. I... I guess maybe moving the power stations could be, uh... Could be an idea. I guess I can put them just across the road from where they currently are. Uh, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's a little bit pricey to do that. It's gonna cost me... 3,800 to move this one. Which is uh, less than ideal, but I i mean, I guess we'll do it. Move it up, move that one up there. And uh, let's see about getting some snow dumps in here again. Uh, we'll just move this road a little bit to somewhere like that. So that should be fine. If I do uh, just four blocks again, that should be fine. So I can, I imagine, get a snow, block, uh, snow dump on that side. Yes, I can. And I can get it on that side as well. That side actually will only demolish the path, which is good. So, we are uh, absolutely going to need to do that. Is uh, That's that's a thing we're absolutely going to need to do. We're going to dezone you, because that's completely unnecessary. In fact, honestly, dezoning all these guys here is probably a good idea too. Because we need to get rid of this pathway anyway. Which is uh, which is unfortunate, but that's that's sort of the way these things can, uh, can tend to work. So let's see, let's uh, go ahead and move this coal pyro plant up beside the other one and uh, move this coal pyro plant as well up to beside the other one. Which means we have this space here, which is going to be for a bunch of these, basically. So these are all going to go right beside each other like that. And we're going to have eight of them, basically. And this is going to be the center for all of the snow dumps in the city. Meaning, uh, we can actually get rid of this one, to be honest, because we probably don't need it. It's not empty. Damn. Alright, well, let's start emptying that, then. Uh, because, you know, that's a pretty useful thing to do. Let's get a few more of them just here. Just need to get two more of them. That doesn't make people happy, interestingly. It's just snow. It's, it's literally just snow, and that's not empty, which is fantastic news. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and zone all of this space that we now have, uh, freed up. There we go. And uh, we also have enough to get... Uh, that's not where I wanted you. Uh, get a couple more of these guys in here. Just like so. So what will happen now when we have uh, snow is that this little road is going to get busy as hell. Uh, which is good or bad, depending on how you look at it. But uh, what's also going to happen is that all of our plows are going to... Why are you complaining about noise pollution? Is that because of the, uh, the, the snow dump there? Because if it is, that's kind of friggin' silly. It probably is as well. That's, uh, that's kind of dumb. I guess what I'll do is I'll just put a medical clinic sort of at the end of that road, and that will hopefully help those guys. I mean, they, they have healthcare right next door, so that'll probably be useful to, uh, 
to prevent those guys from having too many problems with the, the noise pollution. Because I'm not moving the snow dumps. What I'll do sooner is actually just get rid of the, uh... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get rid of the housing there, because it seems like it's only that little sort of space that it's uh, having issues with. So just do, uh, do some commercial in there, I guess. And uh, that should be fine. But what we should end up seeing is... Uh, what the hell are these guys doing here? Is, uh, yeah, the snow dumps will come out here and have to go around because they uh, can't cut straight across. So I'm interested to see how this looks when we have a bunch of snow. I realize I can also uh, go ahead and get rid of uh, these buildings here as well. And uh, that should be good. We also have a bunch of money, and we actually need to spend that money on, uh, on heating. We need to uh, get another boiler station because, uh, yeah, we're, we're having some issues with, uh, with providing heating to the people. A geothermal plant isn't all that useful. A boiler station absolutely is. So let's go ahead and chuck another one of those in. Uh, we'll just throw it in sort of beside uh, or near the other one. So there we go. And we'll do a pipe from there to there. Beautiful. All right. So that'll provide heat to the people. That'll hopefully keep them nice and happy as well. I just really want to see it snow. That's the thing. I really want to see some snow. I want to see what happens with this. Uh, I also think I should probably fill in this space, now that I look at it. I, I feel like filling in this space would be a good idea, and I feel like I could totally do just uh, some residential in there. In fact, I could probably uh, do with getting rid of this little pathway, because it will uh, absolutely be in the way. So let's go ahead and do some residential up to... Oh, it's going to have to be commercial up there. Yeah, it's absolutely going to have to be commercial up there. Um... Why do I keep doing that? It needs to go less than a block. It needs to go like that. Uh, go like that. And then can I fill in this space nicely? I... Uh, I can't really. Well, I say that. I, I guess I sort of can. If I do a pathway sort of down through the middle, it just means that those buildings on either side are going to be uh, three blocks in depth rather than... Uh, rather than the usual four. And I guess we can sort of match that over on this side as well. So there are going to be uh, some smaller buildings there, but that's okay. We'll actually do smaller buildings here as well, just for the hell of it, to uh, make the whole area match nicely. And uh, we'll do a little pathway that comes across there. We'll do a little pathway that comes from... I might should get rid of that one. Do a little pathway that goes from there to there as well. And uh, there to there. And uh, there to... I could do there, but it will get rid of that building, so we'll not bother. Uh, what we'll do is have a pathway that goes from... Th ah, that one's kind of necessary, actually. That'll probably work, in all honesty. That that will uh, that will probably work. If I get rid of... Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Unless I do that. Which does sort of cause some problems, but I, I, I like how that looks, honestly. I think that looks a little better than what we had. And I can do something like that as well. Which looks kind of silly, so we'll just do... We're just going to do a, a, a straight uh, pathway through here. Because it looks better. That looks uh, completely fine to me. We can make a nice little park area in there, I suppose. And uh, what I'll actually do is get rid of the industrial from there. And uh, we'll do some offices. And we'll do some commercial. And we'll do a bit of commercial here as well. as a bit of a sort of buffer, I suppose. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll do some residential in here. And, uh, we'll probably get rid of that little bit of, uh, commercial and just fill up that space with res residential. So that should hopefully fill up pretty quickly. Those offices will hopefully build up kind of quickly too. In fact, I'll just do, I'll do some offices in here as well, just to be a little bit different. Uh, a lot of people using the pathways, which is nice. Not all that many people using bikes that I can see. We, I know these aren't uh, these aren't the old psychopaths that we used to have, but uh, oh god, that was a while. Oh, there's someone on a bike. That's all right. Yeah, that should work. That should uh, that should definitely work. This is actually full. Uh, let's. Let's do something a little risky and... Oh, we're a grand city again. 16,000. Oh, we didn't hit 16,000 this episode. Interesting. Well, we did, but we didn't before. Okay. Uh, let's see. Definitely interesting to note that traffic isn't... Uh, like, there's a lot of it, but it's not really backing up in a way that I would say is uh, 
damaging to the city. This actually looks okay to me. In uh, in all honesty, it's it's just busy. That's the thing. Like it's not it's not horrendous traffic. It's just busy traffic. Also, a hundred thousand money. Don't mind if I do. Let's uh let's go ahead and get some incineration plants because we absolutely need some more of them. So we'll get one there and uh, we'll get one there and uh, we'll get one somewhere else, such as uh there i guess isn't the uh, worst place in the world and that's a uh, commercial zone so we don't want one there and uh, we don't have a mon have the money for another one what i would like to do is turn these landfills back on and actually start emptying them because i want to try and empty all of my landfills so i can completely get rid of them which is risky that that is risky because it's there's a, the potential there that all of my garbage trucks are going to uh focus on the landfills which uh yeah, that's that's a bad thing. Is uh, is is what that is. Huh. Let me have a look at this area. I'm actually thinking that it's probably worthwhile getting rid of that bit of road because uh, that bit of road is actually slowing people down, and I would much rather make a connection somewhere like here for that district, or maybe just the district uh, entrance that it has. I just think having a road for a, com a residential district coming off of our main sort of space like this is a very major uh road for the city so i i don't think having that road there is a good idea i think uh this little area could probably completely go in all honesty because it's very small and uh as much as i like the look of it it really isn't uh all that useful i could just continue this uh space we have here up a little bit so that's that's what I'm probably gonna do because I think it would be beneficial to my city to have that road there instead have that be the ent an entrance in that side rather than over here I think that could benefit my city in uh, in all honesty so uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of all of these little buildings here and continue this uh, district space up a little bit do some uh do some blocks just here like so continue it up just a little bit further to there like so and that's good that's uh completely fine what we want to do is go ahead and dezone all of that and fill it in and uh dezone all of that as well and uh then just fill this out with high density uh residential which should be lovely. So fill that space up as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that we still have this low density space over here. This isn't going to stay low density, but uh, I like it. I, uh, I I definitely, definitely like it. Traffic's having some issues here. Uh, it will do, honestly. This, this road here probably needs to go, in all honesty. Uh, I, I do think this road needs to go. It's too close to the entrance to the city. It worked when we had less traffic. So what we'll do is take that road up to there in the way that we usually do. Fill in this space with low density zoning. Get rid of you because you're not really necessary. Uh, and that path does connect, but I'm going to redo it because it doesn't connect as nicely as I'd like it to. So there we go. All right. In fact, I could go one better and uh, continue the path like that. There we go. That's uh, that's not so bad. So that means that the only entrance to this area really uh, is it's here and here because they do connect and up here as well. I just I realize that is uh, there is the possibility there that that could be used as a through road. Correct? No, not correct. OK. That's uh, that's that's fine, actually. So there are multiple ways in there actually no there's not because that can't be used as a through road so what i'm actually gonna have to do is make this whole area into uh more hills so let's just do that so that uh people can if they want to go into that district uh they they can come into it from uh from one of the three entrances there so let's just get rid of uh the little excess bits of district zoning that we have here because of course it has to be neat uh, it's not one of my districts if it's not neat. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's just make that a little better. Uh, that's still not what I wanted to do. There we go. 
All right, down here is okay. Along the highway is not okay because it's not supposed to be there. Uh, just do that a little bit as well. Do that a little bit as well. And do that a little bit as well. So that's all one big district, meaning traffic should have no problem getting into that space if they want to. Which is uh, absolutely fantastic news. That's uh, hopefully going to help traffic coming into the city. Uh, I really... Yeah, I guess there are technically two entrances to that district from this side, so that's completely fine, actually. That should have, uh, that should have no problems uh, working and uh, benefiting the city. So, I reckon... Like, we're doing pretty well. This episode is, ch like, the city looks completely different with all the high-density buildings. And, uh, I, I like it. I really do. I think it looks great. It's weird. But great. I, uh, I, I definitely like it. People are wanting some office or industrial zoning. I don't know which. Let's look at education. Uh, elementary schools, we need more of those. High schools, we really need more of those. And universities, we do not. So... Let's, uh, let's spend some money before we end the episode. Uh, let's spend some money on a high school for over here. So I reckon a high school can go... I, I kind of want to put it there. I think that's, uh, I think that is pretty, a pretty good place, honestly. Honesty? Honestly. Uh, so we'll do that. That's a pretty good place for it. We probably also want one over here. So we will do that as well. Uh, we'll put the high school... I'm not quite sure where to put it here. Uh, there is uh, is reasonable enough. They have pretty good coverage already, though. These guys not, don't have as much in the way of coverage. What about there? That gives pretty good coverage in this spot. So we'll do uh, a high school just there, I suppose. There is actually a tram stop right across from it, which is pretty great. So, uh, that should... That should benefit a bunch of people. That's still not enough. We need two more high schools to, uh, get everyone into a high school. So we're gonna need to work on that. As for elementary schools, I guess we'll put one... Say... There? I guess that could work. Put an elementary school just there. We'll put an elementary school down into this district, I think, would be a a good place for it. And uh, we probably want one up this way as well. So, let's get a little elementary school just at that corner. And that should, uh, that should benefit a lot of people. I don't want to... I'm not... I, I think what I'm going to end up trying to do is balancing my... Uh, school availability for the meantime, sort of just before or in the yellow rather than uh, getting everyone that I can possibly get into school. The reason for that being that I want to make sure I always have people that can work in uh, lower end factories until I have no more lower end factories. So that's that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the idea there. So let's do a high school just there as well so we can get the capacity up. And as for universities, I mean, those are, those, those are fine. We don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, do I want another high school or another elementary school? I think elementary schools I don't need to worry about too much. So we will, we'll get another one of those just for that area. So the capacity goes into the yellow. I think we'll go for, we'll go for one more. We'll go for one more elementary school. We'll chuck it in there. And, uh, that's good. That's, that's decent elementary capacity. Since the people that are eligible for high school are, uh, that number's climbing pretty rapidly, we'll add one more. We'll just chuck it in there. And that seems good. We're still making a bunch of money, which is fantastic news. Some people are upgrading. Uh, I realize I don't actually have that many parks in the city, which is, uh, well, less than good is, uh, is what that is. We could add in the skating rink, I suppose. That could be kind of nice if we just add it in, say, there. That could work. That, that could definitely work. Um, I mean, I, I don't see why not. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we want to skating? I think there and there. That seems kind of nice. That'll make that area even, uh, 
that'll, that'll give that area just even more land value, which is kind of great. Let's see, is traffic doing okay? Not really. It is still backing up like crazy. Uh, so, we kind of need to find the reason it's backing up like crazy. I think we just need these roads to have more lanes. In all honesty. A lot of traffic is turning there, though. That's the thing. It is, it is just a lot of turning traffic going uh, into these different areas. So... I guess what I'll do is I will go ahead and... Now the problem is this these these roads have uh, trams on them, so I can't really upgrade them. Huh. Now that's interesting. This one doesn't. This one can be upgraded, so we'll do that. Because it doesn't have a tram on it. Oh wow, that's a lot of traffic there. That's a hell of a lot of traffic. I'm using a lot of lanes though, which is nice. That's uh, not something you see often in City Skylines. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's definitely something to be concerned about, is uh, the way traffic is getting into the city. I, I think this road may need a bit of a revision, or at least the tram system may need a bit of a revision, because right now it's uh, potentially causing some issues. Also, I realize there's all of the uh, the, the, the snow plies coming out, so what I'm actually going to do as a last thing for the episode, I know I said it, there, there have been a lot of last things for this episode, but I am going to just get rid of... Uh, that stretch of road. Because I think it's adding a little bit much to the area. And, uh, well, to be honest, what I may even do is just add it back in just straight through. Because it was useful, but I don't want it to be in the same road as all of my snowplows. So, we'll do that. We will do the office zoning back there. And, uh, what we can even go ahead and do is just a little pedestrian path back here that sort of goes around like that. That's kind of nice, I think. I, uh, I I do enjoy having some pedestrian paths. They are, uh, they're kind of great. Uh, so that kind of works. Take that over to there and take that to there. And uh, what I want to see is all of the snow plows coming out. So that is, that is perfect right there. Uh, although traffic is definitely having some issues at the moment. But uh, that'll hopefully clear itself out once those traffic lights go. Yeah, there we go. So, a bunch of snowplies moving out. They are backed up like crazy, but that is a decent number of uh, snowplies, which is fantastic. Yeah, traffic is not having a good time. Maybe I should have had a uh, an alternate way for the snowplies to go. Because as it stands, having them go into uh, my, my, my main space for the, the city wasn't a great move. Let's maybe get rid of that road completely. Uh, because, yeah, it didn't seem like a good idea. I'm gonna be honest. It, it didn't seem like my best idea. That may help traffic move. It may not. But what we really need is to just get these things out of there. If, if they could get out of there, that would be amazing. Because they really need to start servicing the city. Really, it's just traffic lights. Traffic lights have just proven to be a bit of an issue. I've decided to make some changes to the snowplow area. Uh, I'm thinking what we could actually do is just something like have a road come down here and, uh, you know, work, work it that way. Uh, so, if we go to there and bring a road down to here, then connect those together and get rid of that a little bit. We end up with pretty much the, uh, the same system, basically. We have, uh, we have this huge space for all of the snowplies to go, and I'm actually going to add a few more of these in because, uh, I kind of like them. Uh, though they're not, it's not amazing to have them behind the, uh, the, this main city center. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that one. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of you. We can put something else in that road, I suppose. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's, let's just cut them off there instead. So we can use that space a little bit better. So we'll cut them off there. Get rid of that bit. So basically, we're just gonna have a bunch of snow plows on that road, which is, uh, fine by me. It would be nice to uh, have a road that these guys could use exclusively because I would then put a road through there, but that I think having a connection there is a bit dodgy. So, what this allows for is uh, is the snow plies to sort of filter right through this whole area and uh, go where they need to go when it starts heavily snowing. So that should be okay. Of course, I do need to uh, redo a little bit of zoning around here just to uh, make sure that's all Nicely filled up. As for along here, I guess I can do a little bit of uh, industrial zoning just to uh, fill up that space. Then in here is going to be 
probably offices, now that I think about it. In fact, I will just do some offices in here to, uh, you know, fill out the space. I don't mind having a junction like that. I know that's very close to the, uh, the other one, but that's probably okay, considering the snowplies only go out every now and then. So that'll, uh, that'll, that'll be completely fine. Uh, what I will do is just go ahead and bring a road across here and down to there and, uh, straight up to there as well. And, uh, that whole space, I guess, can just be offices instead. So we'll do just something like that. And, uh, that should look okay. That's actually filling up pretty quickly too. So, uh, we'll just see a bunch of snow plows coming out of this road when, uh, when it starts snowing. And, uh, if it's not snowing, this road's gonna be pretty empty, but that's okay. It is gonna be interesting having a very, sort of, big, uh, fairly barren-looking area in the middle of the city, but... I reckon that'll be okay. I, uh, I, I reckon it'll be okay once this all gets built up a little bit. This is an industrial area, this is gonna be the main, sort of, downtown section over here, but we will get to that eventually. Whatever the case, that's going to be it for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been City Skyline Snowfall, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.